My name is David Smith. I'm an indie iOS developer who loves good coffee. And today I'm going to be showing you how I make great coffee with the AeroPress without using a sink. The office space I have, unfortunately, does not have a sink. I create some problems with usual coffee making because you don't want to make a big mess. You don't want to get things everywhere and then have a really tough time cleaning up. So this is the method I've been working on for a while. It's a way of making great AeroPress coffee um, fresh ground, the whole thing, but with basically no mess, no nothing to clean up, and it tastes great. All right, let's get started. Now I'm going to quickly walk through the things you'll need. First, of course, you'll need an AeroPress. These are relatively inexpensive, especially when you consider the quality of the coffee you get out of it. It comes in a variety of different parts. We'll walk through that as we get to it. You'll need some coffee. Here I have some nice Kenyan Double A. It's an excellent brand. This is JVP Peel, but if you want fresh, roasted, whole beans, if you want the best flavor. Then I have a coffee grinder. It's a burr grinder, of course. This is the Krups grinder, I believe. Um, I actually prefer the Cuisinart I have at home, but this is what I have at the office because it's a bit smaller. I have a kettle for hot water. Um, and especially this kettle is great because it lets you set the water temperature, which is a thing that you'll, in a basic kettle you'll just never get. And so it lets you set it to 175 and gives you the great flavor and then even moreover it gives you great consistency. Consistency is really key when making coffee. The goal is to find a cup of coffee that you really like and then be able to make that same thing over and over again. The last thing I have is just regular bottled water. Um, I don't have a sink so I have no access to uh, normal, wa normal water so I just use bottled water for that. Um, sometimes in this, sometimes in larger containers. Um, but it also is nice because it means you have a nice, solid, soft water source that you don't have to worry about. And then the last thing you need is two napkins. Just two regular napkins, nothing too fancy there. Um, they're just, you'll, they'll come, you'll see how they come into play later, but you'll need two napkins. So in review, narrow press, conical burr grinder, kettle, coffee, water, two napkins, a mug. And uh, that's it. Let's get started. All right. The first step in any good cup of coffee is grinding the beans. You want fresh ground beans. Beans begin to lose their flavor um, fairly quickly after you start after you've ground them. So you want to do this right, just at the absolute last moment. So you do it right before you start making your cup of coffee. Here's a cup of. So here's my beans. The AeroPress comes with this handy little scoop, which lets you measure exactly how many beans you want in each. Uh, cup of coffee. For me I'm a big fan. The way, I, the way I make it is uh, two scoops of beans and the number two on the water measure. So I'm going to open this up. Measure out two scoops of beans. Close it up. I set the fineness to be all the way fine. It's because I like uh, a really, a really fine ground coffee for my air press coffee. I set this to somewhere above four and six cups. That seems to work about right. Basically though I'm just going until all the beans are gone. So the actual setting doesn't matter as much. And then I just let it go. Great. So now my beans are uh, ground and we're ready to go to the next step. Alright. You can't make coffee without hot water. So the next thing you do is uh, Add your water to your kettle. The kettle has uh, measures on the side. I go to the minimum, which is 16 ounces. So just measure that. Again, everything needs to be measured. Everything needs to be consistent. I set the kettle to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about 80 degrees Celsius. And hit go. And now while the water is boiling, I continue with the next steps of the process. The next step of the process is to get your AeroPress ready. So, take, you take your uh, cylinder, you take the little tray, take a filter, filter in the tray, in and tight. Then you use this amazing and awesome uh, funnel that comes on top. So you just slot that in just like that. So now I have a really, way, a really nice way of uh, making coffee without getting the grounds in. Pouring grounds into your funnel though is a very tricky step and it's probably the step that the most people struggle with when they're making uh, coffee like this is to not get the grounds everywhere. I've tried a lot of things, this is the way to do it. 
First, one thing I also do, you might want to point out, is as you can see here, I put all my coffee making things on a tray. It just helps keep it, all the little bits that'll come off all in one place. But the key is you add the funnel to the top, you take your grounds out like this, and you'll notice there's a little window on the top. That's where the grounds come in, and the key is never open the actual container. You just take it and dump it in with the funnel. You'll find that most containers fit perfectly in the funnel, so you can bang it around, shake it around, knock it around a little bit, and you'll get probably 95% of the grounds in there with, with this method. Fair enough. If you were to dig around with a spoon, you could probably get a few more out, but the purpose of this method is cleanliness, and so every time you open that lid, you're going to get grounds everywhere. So it's just part of what I've kind of got into the habit of, because I, it's probably the only area where there's not consistency, but if I found it works pretty well. Shake the, shake the funnel a few times, and we're good. All right. Again, I also have a little bowl that lets me uh, put, the put everything together. All the little grounds that fall out, they just go in the bowl. I wash the bowl once a week, which should be all good. So the kettle just finished boiling. So we have 175 degree water. Time for the cup. Time to get going. So I've got my grounds. Shake it a little bit, make it nice and, nice and level. Put that on top. I got my boiling water. I got my uh, plunger. And the plunger is conveniently also a measuring cup. So I use that to measure the uh, water that I'm going to put in. Make sure you have your two, your two napkins out right now. They should be easily accessible. You'll, I'll, as I'll show you in a moment exactly how we'll use those. But for now, it's just make sure you have those two nicely available. Pop it open, take the kettle, and I go up to just at the top of the number two. So you see the number two there? I go right to the top of the circle. Perfect. Now this is a little trick, which is perhaps a little controversial, but the way I like to do it is I then put the kettle back on at 195, and I put it back on. This gives the, it gives the water, when I turn it from an espresso into an Americano, a little bit more heat, which I personally like. That's definitely a, uh, a personal preference and a choice thing for if you want your coffee to be a little bit hotter or, or, or if 170 degrees is just fine. All right, so now let's actually make the coffee. So I've got my hot water here to the number two. I press, top of the cup, and I pour it in. All right. AeroPress comes with a special stirrer, it's designed so that you can never hurt the f filter at the, at the bottom by pushing down too hard. You put that in and you stir it for 10 seconds. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, shake it out, and this is where the first napkin comes in. Place that on the first napkin. Take the plunger, plunge it down. And this is a tr slightly tricky part, uses a little bit of force. The f I, I like my grounds nice and fine, so this takes a little bit more effort than if you uh, do them slightly coarser. But obviously that's just a question of uh, how hard you want to push and how strong you are. Let it sit for a moment. I just find that there's less dripping that way. So while I do that, I'm going to shift the camera over and show you how I do the cleanup. All right, cleanup, which is probably the most important part of this uh, non-sync method is pretty straightforward. You take the AeroPress, take it over to the trash can. I often just put it, take, a, take a little one and put it up on the table I'm doing this on. Shake out the coffee, pull it over. The AeroPress is pretty clever in this regard. You just take the little basket off on the bottom, slaps off. That goes onto your second napkin. That's why you need two. Turn this upside down. Continue to push it all the way out. And you'll see it's actually pretty clean now. There's a little bit of coffee on the edge of the plunger, and that's about it. Take the plunger, place it upside down. Now we go back to the first stick, the, the stirring stick in a napkin. Take it, fold it, pull it off. Perfectly clean. No problems. Next step, take the AeroPress itself, plunger, same napkin, and just wipe it off. You'll find that because the AeroPress is, makes an airtight seal with the cylinder, 
as you're pushing the plunger through it. The actual inside of the plunger is completely clean. There's actually nothing inside of it because it's because of a completely airtight, smooth seal as you pull down. So once you've wiped off the grounds there at the end, you can pull it out, and you'll see that is perfectly clean. Nothing in there. That's clean too now. Put those back. Last step, take the uh, basket that you did. Same kind of thing, wipe it off. This is probably the dirtiest part, that's why I give it its own napkin. Give it a bit of a rinse, rinse. All the coffee's on the napkins, throw those two away. Basket's totally clean. Now we're just left with beautiful tasting espresso. Well, I guess, got my nice warm water, take that. Fill it up the rest of the way, turning it into a nice uh, Americano. And there you have it. Beautiful coffee made in, with an AeroPress with no mess. This is how I make coffee every day uh, in an office without a sink using an AeroPress. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can hit me up at underscore David Smith on Twitter. Um, and otherwise, just look to see you out. This is probably the method I'm going to be using when WWC comes around uh, next month. I'll be sitting off in a corner using the hot water that you get from almost every water cooler at a conference center. Means that I can take a grind the coffee in my hotel room in the morning, go to the conference in the middle of the day if I need a little pick me up, and about the time it would take for me to wait in line to get coffee um, from the big machines that doesn't taste very good, I can make my own cup of AeroPress, put the whole thing back into a Ziploc bag. It's clean, no problems, and I get the the great flavor I enjoy. All right, have a good one. Bye.